So let's start with uh of course Mr. New World uh Ram. I honestly <laughs> I currently have an RTX card but I don't use it. <laughs> I don't use ray tracing cuz a lot of the games that I play um either don't have ray tracing or it's just not something at at like for for the game to run smoothly on my system because my processor isn't the best i'd rather uh just run it regularly and ag- again stuff i play new world I, as far as i know it's not have ray tracing so there's that for me um so it really isn't a big deal it's more of perform like the raw performance of the cards for me Okay, so for settings, what do you have for your settings? Is it do you max it out every time uh, you Ooh. have a new game? It it depends on the game. For it depends on the game for me. Um, usually, if it's a game that's pretty light as far as processor load goes, I can I max it out. But for games like New World, where it's really taxing on the on the processor, I usually put it as low as I can. Uh, just to be safe. Okay, so how about you, uh, Eman? Uh, well, if the game supports it, then I usually just turn it on. No? Uh, the last game that I played that actually had support for ray tracing was so, uh, Watch Dogs Legion. And, oh. and uh, yeah, well, I'm not, I'm not sure I'm going to but <laughs> when. when <laughs> When I used to play it, uh, I always, you know, I always turn RTX on. Because it's hard, man. I mean, uh, I have a, you know, I have a 3080, so, so I have to, you know, maximize the the card's potential. And uh, so far, kaya naman siya, no. Uh, unfortunately, the game that I recently played, no, Tales of Arise, I, mm-hmm. I don't think it's, I don't think it supports uh, RTX yet. Yeah. No? But it looks good on its own, no. Uh, so I guess uh, my 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 settings, if I can tax it out uh, on non-competitive games, no, um, non-esports games, I guess. If mm-hmm. I can max max it out, some mga single player, ganyan, then that's fine. No? Uh, Cause I wanna see, you know, kaya ako mabibili ng thirty eighty para dyan, you know, di ba? Uh, sayang naman kung hindi ko yung max out, di ba? Uh, yun, yun. So if I can, I would. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. So for me, uh, for my number one question, how often do I use ray tracing or DLSS? Uh, in my case, I only play with RTX. Mm-hmm. So for some or at paper, uh, I believe a lot of people are excited, no? Because oh, uh, it's ray tracing, it's uh, DLSS, and all the other features at a very low cost. But mm-hmm. uh, the thing is when when the embargo for the review came out, a lot of reviews uh, pointed out that its performance is roughly behind the RTX 2060, GTX 1660 Super. So it's basically uh, somewhat in between the 1650 Super and 1660. Now, what does that mean? Well, for for Western countries, not much because uh, even though if there's scalping issues there, mm-hmm. Cards are priced uh, very close to the SRP, or basically it's still SRP if you can get them at stores like Best Buy. But mm-hmm. in the case of other countries, especially here in the Philippines, uh, our local SRP does not follow the US SRP. Plus, uh, we also have uh, attacks for heavily branded cards such as the ROG Strix variant, or if you mm-hmm. go for uh, the closely related one, which is the Inno 3D, which I'm, which I have right here. Mm-hmm. So again, going back, the value of DLSS or RTX for me is somehow diminished because I don't get high enough frame rates in the first place to enjoy the card. And for the case of RTX, I don't have that much, that much FPS to spare. No, because if if turn on RTX, regardless of which card do you have, it will have a performance impact. So that said, parang it's hard to get an RTX 3050 just for the sake of the ray tracing, but, but because it's currently ha- it currently has an SRP of fifteen thousand, 
But as far as local stores are concerned, no, uh, uh, yung mga nakikita ko, it's priced around 19,000. So it's relatively close to the RTX 2060 that we have. So the RTX 2060 is a relatively old uh, GPU, no, uh, which is replaced by the 3060. But it still uh, gets the job done, especially in raw performance. Mm-hmm. And that's where the debate comes in, uh, whether you get an old card or a new card like this one. So for now, if it, if you're aiming for a post or a, a day one release or launch month video card, the RTX 3050 is not that much of a good upgrade, especially if you're coming from the 1650 or lower or 1050 Ti even. But if you're building oh, a new PC, uh, as in uh, yung budget na kaya nyo, i5, i3, or Ryzen 3, Ryzen 5, and pair it with a 3050, then it's good. Uh, I think I believe it's good enough even with the uh, higher SRP that we have here in the Philippines. So, where does the RX 6500 XT come in? The RX 6500 XT has a slightly lower SRP at 13,000, but local stores are pricing it at 15,000. So, there's a 5K difference. The thing is, even though if even though that the RX 6500 XT has the uh, lower cost and RDNA 2 architecture, which basically can run uh, RTX and DL or RTX and their own form of DLSS, which is Fidelity FX resolution. Mm-hmm. It's it also can't keep up with the RTX 3050. And if it can't keep up with the RTX RTX 3050, then it definitely can't keep up with the existing cards that we have, such as the 1650, 1650 Super or the previous AMD RX 5600 XT. So that's a lot of graphic GPUs, no? So basically what I'm trying to say is, if you're coming from a a lower end card or a previous card, a previous Mm -hmm. generation graphics card, Mm -hmm. it's not worth the upgrade to get these new ones. But if you're building a new PC, buy ahead. I mean, uh, go ahead and get one. Now for the case, if you want to go for the premium for the RTX 3050, or go for the lower uh, lower GPU, the RX 6500 XT, that will depend on the games that you will play, no? So, ako, I was one of the early adopters for the RTX uh, graphics cards, no? Uh, I used to play DLSS and RTX on Battlefield games, but then mm-hmm. again, the performance impact was too high for me to, uh, to, run a to appreciate it. Or uh, because I prefer high frame rates uh, over mm-hmm. graphics, or uh, high frame rates over better graphics, especially in competitive sure. titles. So it's a very tough uh, uh, choice, no? It's not just uh, a no-brainer, uh, brainer scenario where you get green versus red. So my advice is for those uh, wanting to get. Uh, these GPUs are wanting to build a PC, a PC is wait for our build guides. <laughs> yes, it's a shameless <laughs> plug, but but the thing is, uh, what I'm happy about our build guides is we 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 have the the components themselves, so we get to benchmark it. So in turn, as you the reader, the viewer, or as you the, the audience yeah. can get a performance estimate, diba? So for example, if you're aiming to play. Valorant and for example the system managed to output 100 FPS are you happy with the 100 FPS especially if you're pairing it with the 144 Hz monitor yes or no at least from from that experience or for us being the the first ones to try uh, you can easily adjust your build beforehand right? there's no buyer's remorse once you get to buy your build and that's why you have to wait for our build guides <laughs> But yeah, uh, this yeah, these new these new GPUs naman are a sign that uh hopefully the market is get, going better. Plus uh the, the competitiveness no from from these brands uh is all is only benefiting us uh the the consumers no. So at the end of the day, uh as long as you're happy with your purchase, uh go for it. But of course, uh, use use available resources that you have. No? So I keep looking at the cards because I'm Hmm. 
will these cards prove me wrong in the long term? But of course, nga, talking mm-hmm. about long term, these cards may reduce in price, which will also uh, affect our opinion later on. No, so uh, if you're planning to get one in in the f- distant future, naman, not the near future. Mm-hmm. Wait for our updated build guides. 